Welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. Let's look for that magpie tapestry. Oh. Two spiders. Three spiders. Okay. You know, when I was going around the catacombs, I didn't actually show this on camera, but I did use some pine cones to kill a spider, and it actually took a lot of pine cones. It took like six of them. So I don't think I have enough to actually kill them all. Although I think the pinecone does direct damage and also burns them over time. And I didn't wait for the burning effect. Let's test it. Yeah, so it is on fire. Oh, oh, oh. Is it taking damage? I think it did take a bit of damage. Like after the explosion. Okay, so I can do it in two. But yeah, that's only enough to kill one more. Mm. Well, we can just be kind of careful, I guess. Oh, what's that do? The banner's hooked onto the cauldron of the dying light. Oh, I need to hook the right one on. Uh, which one did I just hook on? Definitely not the right one. Don't see any birds on it. I gotta look for interactables. Looks like there's so much stuff down here. What's this do? Just ran out of lantern juice. Dang it. And yes, the technical term is lantern juice. Can you jump over there to that other side? Can't get through the door, though. Ah, oh, more pine cones. Well, that should be enough. Let's do it. A spider that can't even climb things. So weak. Let me see if a bottle can do it, actually. Hmm. That works, too. Not bad. Strong arm. Literally, the skill. why I'm opening all of those. It's not like it actually matters. Um, are we stuck in combat? Hmm, seems like it. Guards Opal. Let's look for the one. I think those are birds. Oh wait, what about this? I think that's it. Let's 
see if this is the one. Aye, this is the one I was searching for. But this magpie, what is she doing? Yeah, I noticed, they're wearing a saddle and yeah, they seem to be crying. She seems to be weeping. Impossible. Magpie weeps for no rodent. And yet, there it is. The magpie snatches up the banner in her claws. Tell no one of this mouse. I've done everything that you've asked of me. You have indeed. Now, mouse, you may ask one question of me, and one only. Wow, I can ask, why did Mara refuse to sing to the Baron instead of where is she? That seems like an incredibly bad idea. So, Mara, where is she? Who? My wife, the dancer, Mara. Dancer? You don't want to ask me anything else? Perhaps about the uprising in the north? Please, answer my question. Perhaps I could tell you of how the stars were sewn into heaven's tapestry, or reveal the mysteries of what lies beyond. I want to know only what I asked you. I can give you the secret to making gold from lead, or tell you the final words of King Rodgar. Tell me about Mara. Very well. Then I must consult with Myglar. What's Myglar? In Magpie mythology, Myglar is the great winged creator. It's said that she conjured into existence the heavens and the skies, and all the creatures who dwell there, simply by speaking their names. Myglar needed only to say the word, and her word became the truth. It's unsurprising, then, that Magpie so greatly valued the spoken word, or that they hold lies in such contempt. Ruffick closes her eyes and stretches out her wings to their fullest extent. There is a moment, almost an eternity of absolute silence. And then the magpie speaks, her voice so clear that it seems to you as if it... as if it is the only sound that has ever existed. You must journey to the Isle of Paraglave. What you seek is waiting for you there. So it truly is a lost island of Paraclave. Lost? That's exactly where it's always been. And it is real, I promise you. I was born there, atop the ruins of the Great Tower. Hmm. Well, I've already read this, but... Ah, eh, no reason to read it again. Then I must go to Paraclave. You'll need a ship. And some luck to carry you there. And a chart to navigate the currents. <laughs> what, you mean you can't carry me there? I'll carry you in my stomach. At the bottom of this cliff, on a desolate shore, you'll find a rowboat about your size. Well, I know where that is, don't I? What about the charts? Cannot, I cannot help you find your way. I know only the currents of the sky above. The lake is the domain of pirates and frogs. Ah, I said go speak with uh, Carol about it. And perhaps pirate frogs? I've seen more than a few. You have my thanks, Ravik of Paraclave. I will tell you one more secret. You're a brave mouse, Tila the Minstrel. I'm almost glad I didn't eat you. Farewell. With a beat of her wings, the magpie is gone. Okay. So yeah, first thing, discover the way to Paraclay from Carold. So I'm gonna head back to the jails. Alright, Carol, tell me the way to Paraclave. Mousy, it's not you then. 
Uh, what, what isn't? You don't hear it. There's a new prisoner across the way. Damned menace keeping me awake night and day. The sooner they hang him, the better. The sooner they hang you, the better! It's been going on for hours now. Anyways, what is it you want? I need to plot a course for Paraglave. What's that? I need to plot a course for Paraglave? Eh? Come on, speak up. Can't hear it. Ah, will you stop that damn noise? I can't even think with that racket going on. Please, Mousy, please shut him up for me, then we'll talk. I don't hear anything. A new prisoner. What have you done, Xylus? Tilo, what are you doing here? I should ask you the same. The jailer is dead. I've been found guilty of his murder. The commander has sentenced me to hang. Uh, I was the one who found the jailer's body. <laughs> of course you were. Strange. My problems always seem to start with you. What evidence have they against you? They say they have a witness, and that it was my dagger found stuck in his back. I was also in his debt from too many games of chance. It was motive enough for the commander. The night the jailer disappeared, where were you? In my cot, far as I remember, with my scaps and a bottle for company. So... Did you kill the jailer? No, I mean, I... I don't remember. What do you think? Hmm. I know you didn't do it. It's very trusting of you. I appreciate that. They're building gallows in the courtyard. How's it coming together? I've not really had a good look. Well, keep an eye on it for me. Make sure the structure is good and sturdy. Somebody could get hurt. <laughs> Silas, I'm going to get you out of here. Just go on, Tilo. Forget about me. Perhaps this is something I deserve. No. No, you don't. Gather your things, Silas? It's time to go, is it? Well, what exactly is the plan there? Um, I spoke with the magpie, Silas. I know how to find Mara. Oh? That's wonderful. Tilo, I'm so happy for you. Truly, I am. Perhaps at least your tale sports a happy ending. Hmm. Uh. Oh, whoops. I, was, I thought we'd just end the dialogue, but no, that's... I was saying I'll be back for you. Um... Are saying, let's say you do get me out of this cell, then what? Are we just gonna stroll out through the main gate? Hmm. I'll talk to the commander. He trusts me. Indeed, um, he just promoted me to sergeant. The commander's stubborn, T, though. He'll not see reason. The jailer himself could rise from the grave to accuse his murder, and the commander would still have me hanged. It seems the noose is the only way out for me. There's a boat down on the shore. Meet me there. Come with me. You place the cell key on the bunk beside your friend. You don't remember when we first met, do you? I don't understand what you mean. You know the start of it better than I do. A checkpoint on the turn road at night? Hmm? Two mice without proper papers? 
and a sick pup in their handcart? Dying of a spider's bite for the want of a physician's care at the mine a few miles on? You were there? I wasn't, and I should have been. I was the sergeant on duty that night. The sergeant, that was you. Wasn't it the sergeant that rushed off to take Bryn to get them care? Aye. What happened? It was my fault, Tilo. Huh. Then it was you who took Bryn on to the physician. You tried to save him. Aye. Once I knew what was happening. But the road was so dark and the snow so heavy. I lost my way. What happened to you after that? We didn't see you again. The garrison commander had me put in the stockade for the night for deserting my post. I didn't know what had happened to your son until the next day. I know you did all that you could. Tilo, the night Bryn died, I was sauced. It's all right. We open your mouth to speak, but the words won't come. I know. Go, Tilo. Do what you must. Find Mara. Find what happiness you can. I think they'll be waiting for me at the boat. Oh, I forgot to go back to Carold. Ah, silence. Now, Mousy, what is it you want? They're building gallows in the courtyard. So, it's gonna be a hanging, eh? Well, it's no strangling, but I'll take what I can get. Perhaps they'll hang you. Hang me? <laughs> By what? You need a neck to be hanged. True. Okay, please, need a plot of course for Paraclave. Paraclave? I was told a frog might know the way. Only one, Mousy. Only one. But I swore a blood oath as a pirate to never speak of it again. It was three days out of Skarm when the Lake Witch was attacked for no reason at all by the Marsh Herald, which we'd robbed a few weeks earlier. Mm -hmm. It was a battle for the ages. We took heavy damage, but the Lake was too afraid of the captain to dare sink us. Outgunned, but not outwitted, we sought refuge in the Cloak of Paraclave. But with our mainsail in tatters and our rudder smashed, it was easy prey for the Serpent. The serpent. Aye, the serpent, the whip, mother's tail. Currents, Mousy. Currents in the waters of the lake. The whip will take a ship clear from one side of the cloak to the other. Mother's tail will always see you home. But the serpent, well, get caught by the serpent and you'll be crushed. With the wheel as his weapon, the captain fought the serpent and won. The lake witch gave the serpent the slip and found a hidden current that took us away, deeper into the gray of the cloak. We was lost in that gray for days, it seemed. And then we saw it, a black tower, rising from the lake like a spear piercing its heart. And beneath it... Black tower? Does it mention it in this entry for Paraclave? Uh, it says Paraclave as an island. Uh, um, others describe Paraclave as an island pierced by a black shard at the center of a great lake. So the black shard must be the black tower, huh? Hmm. The island of Paraclave. We thought it our salvation, but it was only horror we found. Oh, such horror. And that's all I've got to say about that. I have no love for you, Mouse. But I beg you, leave Paraclave be. It was never meant to be found. That island is cursed, and all who set foot there damned. So you won't help me? Never. 
I swore I'd take this secret to my grave. Captain's the only other living soul that knows the way, and even he would need my charts. Hmm, well, it's good that I finished the pirate costume. I'd give them to the captain himself, and none other. So unless you're Captain Powder Keg of the Lake Witch, and I can see you're not, I suggest you forget all about the Isle of Paraclave. Hmm. Very well, then. Oh, hey. Hey, Powder Keg. Yeah, you gonna go speak with the, the frog? Cool. <clears throat> Where's the pirate's costume? Oh, up here. Hey there, Captain! You've returned. Yeah, we need to talk about Paraclave. Oh, hi. There's a mouse skulking around asking about the charts for Paraclave. Uh, is that so? What did you tell him? Not a word. You made me swear an oath to never speak about that island. Oh, he's a sly one. But I was ready for him. I didn't even mention the chest buried down on the bone shore. Hmm. Where the shadow of the crow's nest falls at five. Okay. I see. So right next to that ship, right? Because a crow's nest is a thing on the boat, so I'm guessing the boat... I'd have to be near the boat for the shadow to fall anywhere on land. At 5 p.m. Okay. And even if I did, I still have the key. Hmm. I should take a look. Make sure all's well there. Carol's eyes fill with tears. Captain, promise me you mean to destroy it this time. The frog spits out a silver key. It twists lazily down into your open paw, suspended on a gossamer thread of spittle. Ugh. Paraclave was never meant to be found. Okay, cool. Now, well, I was going to just go straight for that place, which I guess now I'm still going to go for the ship, since we need to go there to find the charts. But, even though I suspect it won't do anything, to try to get Silas out of jail... I should try to speak with the commander, and I think the two mice, um, and also the blacksmith as well. I also have orders from the commander to take the blacksmith, so I should take those to, to the blacksmith just to get a little upgrade in my abilities. Yeah, here's the gallows that we're going by. Grim sight. So let's speak with the commander, and then the blacksmith, and then the two mice. Scow, I have news that may be of interest to you. The signal guard, Silas Wagstaff, has been arrested, charged with and convicted of the jailer's murder. He's to be hanged at the rise of the next blood moon. What evidence is there against Silas? Enough to have him hanged. There's no doubt he's guilty, sir. In my mind, none whatsoever. In Doinland Heights, justice moves swiftly, Scow. Hmm. Yeah, nothing's gonna happen with that. I have orders for you, Smitty. Uh, what else can you teach me about the traps? Not that that really matters at all at this point, but... Let's see, you can show you how to rearm a trap. The spring is tricky, but there's a knack to it. Hmm. That could, actually could be handy. Yeah, teach me. Cool. Other thing is the gallows, what's going on? I mean, I already know. Jelly's been found murdered at the bottom of the well. Mm-hmm. Silas. Responsible. What evidence do they have? I already know. Okay. Let's go speak with the two mice. Tilo. Look who's here. I told you he'd make it. Tilo. We were ready to leave without you. They're planning on hanging some scrunt in the yard, and it's not going to be us. Like our da said, when they start building gallows, it's time to go. Should have taken his own advice. <laughs> um, I'm not going with you. I know where Mara is. But, but we waited for you. You're sure? Once we're gone, there's no going back. Aye, I'm sure. Good, you'd only slow us down. Farewell, Mouse. I hope you know what you're doing. The two mice put on their packs and slip away. They're gone. Just like that.
Okay, next stop, the ship and the shore. Okay, I'm at the boat. It is almost 5 o'clock. That's when we're supposed to look at the shadow of the crow's nest. It's 4.40 p.m. The hard part is figuring out exactly where the shadow is. It's actually kind of difficult. I'm mostly using the light shafts to be able to tell, actually. So, crow's nest would be that tiny little thing at the like right above Tilo's head right now. That little circle, I think. Pretty sure. So I'm kind of just moving till I see the light shafts coming from there, and it seems to be like, uh, there's too many trees here, I don't know, like, uh, and it like moves every couple minutes, like lurches. The friggin' trees are in the way. I don't know. Or could it be that other one, the bigger disc below? If so, then... Ooh, 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 ooh. I think it might be right here. There's a big circle. It's kind of like a slight hill. And and it's 5 o'clock. Okay. I think it's here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm guessing we probably blow it up. chest. Uh, Rezia? Oh, this isn't good. You're in a bit of a hole, lovely. What are you doing here? Claiming what's mine. How did you find me? It wasn't hard. You make enough noise to wake the dead. Move away from the chest now. Why? The cook pulls a kitchen knife from her apron and wipes the blade across her sleeve. So I can keep my knife clean. You step aside, taking a few paces back. All right, now that's far enough. You've done well, lovely. We've been looking for Captain Powdercake's treasure for years. We? You mean you and Faustus? <laughs> Faustus, that snob. He doesn't even know my name. He has no ambition beyond the next batch of rot gut. No, I mean Volker, the jailer. He was my partner in this little scheme. Oh, Volkar love, to think all this time you were right. I'm only sorry you're not here to see it. I do miss him. We were a good pair. But I think this is fair compensation for his sacrifice. Did you kill the jailer? Me? Oh, love, of course not. We had a good thing going, me and him. But he made a lot of enemies the way he carried on. Stealing from the condemned, looting from the catacombs, gambling, and all the while searching for the captain's treasure. He came close to finding it before he died, though not as close as you, of course. Well, the treasure's yours, I just need the charts. Oh, love, what am I gonna do with you? Uh, you could just let me go. I could, couldn't I? Except... I heard you gave my name to the commander. That wasn't very nice. You've ruined everything I spent years building here. Hmm. How did you know of the treasure? The frog in the jail. A Carol, is it? He would talk in his sleep. The guards overheard the frog and Volker overheard the guards. The Lake Witch found Paraclave and returned laden down with treasure. Oh, that's why Rezia kept wanting to visit Carold. Not because Rezia actually liked Carold, but just wanted more information. They say the treasure is why she wrecked. How so? She was running too heavy, her keel too deep. You can imagine the rest. But no trace of any treasure was ever found. So I paid Carold to visit. Aye, he told me, said you were a good mouse. <laughs> a filthy, stinking imbecile. He claimed his captain was alive, too, but his body's still there, chained up in his cell. Uh, I should go? 
going? Oh, I don't think so, Grunt. Cook takes a crystal in her paw. With any consolation, your death will make your old Uma very, very... She screams, her eyes sinking into their orbits as fur and flesh unravel from crumbling bone. In an instant, Uma Rizia is gone. To an awful dirge, more felt than heard, the crystal begins to pulse with a sickly emerald light. And then... The green flame. I knew they would rise from the dead. Oh, I can't sprint. Uh-oh. Ooh, this is bad. It's sucking on my life. There's so many of them, I have to blow them up. Good mouse. Doinlin. My lady, the dead have risen. Aye, I can feel it. The green flame has awakened. What must I do? Once the emerald fire has been lit, it cannot easily be extinguished. Alone you can do nothing. Muster your comrades and trust it is not too late. Only the living can help you now. So I just need to run? When I get out of range, do I start to get my stamina back? Yes. Yeah, we're good now. Okay. Let's heal. Recruit help against the green flame. Okay. Whoa. Oh, it's everywhere, isn't it? Alright, um, trying to think of the best way back. Probably through the small cave and up the lift, I'm thinking. The good thing is they're pretty slow. As long as I keep moving, I should be fine. Should also probably save. Yeah, I'll meet you uh, back at Civilization. Okay, I'm back here, and despite being late at night, almost 7 p.m., it looks like everybody's just kind of in the area. Blacksmith is there, and then looks like they're about to hang Silas. I guess it's a blood moon. I don't know, I can't even see the moon. Yeah, they said they're going to hang him on the, the first blood moon. But anyway, I am going to talk to them in the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.